Hi, everybody. Today we're going to talk about the possessive pronouns in German. If you haven't seen the German with Puppets video that goes along with this worksheet, go ahead and click up there and watch the puppets. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and start. First off, what is a possessive pronoun in English? Because if you don't understand it in English, then you're not going to understand it in German. So, first of all, we have ich. Ich is I in English. And if I own something, then it is my. So I would say, like, my book. In German, we would say mein. Du. Du means you, and if you have something, then it's going to be dein, your. Er is he, and if he has something, it's his, so we have sein. Z is she, and if she has something, it's ihr, her. S, S is it, and if it has something, it's sein, its. Wir means we, and if we have something, it's ours, unser, our. Ihr, if ihr has something, it's euer, you have something, it's your. Z plural is they, and if they have something, it's ihr, their. And the Z formal, if it is yours, it is ihr. Now, each one of these is going to also take some endings. They take the same endings as the ein words, which is why mein, dein, sein all end in ein. You can remember that they take the ein word endings then. You just have to remember then that ihr is now also a possessive as opposed to just being the plural informal ihr. And also we now have unsa and oya, which we don't have any reference point to as of yet. Section 2 says you're supposed to rewrite the set of two sentences to make one sentence that encompasses them both. For example, der Vater fährt gern Rad. The father likes to ride bicycle. Er ist der Vater von mir. He is the father of me. The answer then would be, mein Vater fährt gern Rad. You take mir, change it to mein, and then add the ending that you would need. In this case, you don't need one because it's nominative. Mein Vater fährt gern Rad. Nummer eins here says, danken Sie dem Kellner. Are you thanking the waiter? Der Kellner hilft Ihnen. The waiter helps you. In this sentence, we want to combine these two and make it so that it says, are you thanking your waiter? But since you is Z, we have to use here the formal ihr. So we say, danken Sie, Ihrem, because it's dative and masculine, Kellner. Danken Sie Ihrem Kellner. Are you thanking your waiter? Nummer zwei, das Fenster ist kaputt. The window is broken. Das Fenster gehört dem Haus. The window belongs to the house. So we want to say the window of the house, or the house's window, is broken. So you would say, its window is broken. House is neuter, so we use the neuter possessive sein. Fenster is also neuter, and so we don't have an ending here for the nominative case. Sein Fenster ist kaputt. Its window is broken. Sein Fenster ist kaputt. Das Schiff sinkt. Das Schiff gehört dem Kapitän. Here we have the ship that is sinking, and it apparently belongs to the captain. The captain is a masculine noun, so we have to use the masculine possessive sein. Schiff is neuter, so we don't have an ending on sein. We just have sein Schiff sinkt. His ship is sinking. Die Eltern fahren weg. The parents are driving away. Sie sind die Eltern von Fred. They are the parents of Fred. Fred is a male, and therefore we have to use here the masculine sein. Because Eltern is plural, we have to have here an E at the end of sein, because that's the plural nominative. Seine Eltern fahren weg. His parents are driving away. Die Großmutter packt das Gepäck. The grandmother is packing the luggage. Das Gepäck gehört uns. The luggage belongs to us. If it's our luggage, we would say unser. Since it's our luggage, we have to use the possessive back here after the verb. So we leave die Großmutter in the sentence. Packt also doesn't change, but we change out das for unser. Die Großmutter packt unser Gepäck. The grandmother packs our luggage. Nummer 6. Habt ihr die Koffer? Do you have the suitcases? Die Koffer gehören euch. The suitcases belong to you. Here we want to say euch, change that into the nominative case, that would be ihr, and we want to say here your suitcases. Habt ihr eure Koffer? Habt ihr eure Koffer? Notice that I dropped an E between the U and the R. That's because there's an E at the end of the possessive, and it's a little bit easier to say eure as opposed to eure. Either way is technically correct. One is a little bit more colloquial. If you take out the E there, that's a little bit more colloquial than it is for the one that includes the E. But either way is technically acceptable. Nummer 7. Ich esse einen Apfel. I am eating an apple. Der Apfel gehört mir. The apple belongs to me. So we want to say, I am eating my apple. Ich esse meinen Apfel. Notice that we have an E in at the end of mine. That's because the ein word there would also have an E in at the end of it. And so when we use this as a possessive, we still have the E in, indicating case and gender. Ich esse meinen Apfel. I am eating my apple. Nummer 8. Ich kaufe der Mutter ein Geburtstagsgeschenk. 
Sie ist die Mutter von mir. I am buying the mother a birthday gift. She is the mother of you. So we want to say, I am buying your mother a birthday gift. So we say here, ich kaufe. That doesn't change. You or your. Your in this sentence is going to be dein. But we have to add an ending that goes with the fact that it is dative and feminine. Deine Mutter. Ich kaufe deiner Mutter ein Geburtstagsgeschenk. I am buying your mother a birthday gift. Deine Mutter because it has to have the ER there for the feminine dative. Feminine dative because Mutter is feminine and dative because it's the indirect object. It's the one receiving the birthday gift. Meine Frau hat diesen Hund gern. My wife likes this dog. Natürlich gehört diese Katze ihr. Naturally, this cat belongs to her. So my wife likes this dog. Naturally, this cat belongs to her. These two don't really seem to work together. But we want to say here, naturally, this cat belongs to my wife. So instead of saying ihr in this sentence, we're going to take meine Frau and put that where ihr is. So we have, natürlich gehört diese Katze meiner Frau. Naturally, this cat belongs to my wife. Meine Frau, because gehören is a dative verb. So the object of the dative verb there, my wife, is dative and feminine. Nummer 10. Meine Schwester hat eine Katze. My sister has a cat. Diese Katze ist schwarz und weiß. This cat is black and white. So we want to say, my sister's cat, or her cat, is black and white. So we would say, ihr, for the base form of the possessive here, add an e to the end of it because Katze is feminine. Ihre Katze ist schwarz und weiß. Ihre Katze ist schwarz und weiß. Sie helfen den Nachbarn. Die Nachbarn wohnen neben ihnen. This one's a little bit more complicated because it doesn't come right out and tell you the answer. This one says, they are helping the neighbors. The neighbors live next to them. So you want to say here, they are helping their neighbors. Sie helfen ihren Nachbarn. Ihren because that's plural and dative. Dative because helfen and plural because Nachbarn is plural. Wie oft putzt du diese Geige? How often do you clean this violin? Sie gehört dir, oder? It belongs to you, doesn't it? So we want to say, how often do you clean your violin? Wie oft putzt du deine Geige? How often do you clean your violin? Deine has an E at the end of it because Geige is feminine. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more German with puppets, click on that box. If you want to see more German worksheet explanation videos, click on that box. And if you want to see some songs or some Märchen, click on those boxes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, bye.